Right, let's see if we can start the cup. What the? F you, can, well, you can see it bubbling there. Look at the state of that. That is our point of failure. Time to get a new one. Oh, it's all right, that. It's super tricky to see in here, but you can just about make out a circlip here. Well, that circlip is on the clutch pedal. So the first thing we have to do is to pop that off, if I can get it with my fingers. No, that's going to need a screwdriver. Um, but once we've got that off, we can push uh, the pin out of the middle, and that releases the master cylinder, which is the other side of the bulkhead just behind here, uh, and we can start to take it all apart. So I'm going to put the camera down and get a screwdriver in, see if we can prise this open. Yes. the old master cylinder out. So, time for a new one. Ooh. It's like that, interesting. Uh, this bit on the old one has stayed in the car. This could be fun. So, video effects out of the way. Uh, this is the old part, this is the new part. Uh, you can see the old one is quite crusty around the top here and actually on this end as well, it was looking pretty nasty. Uh, but it's probably okay. Uh, we definitely found that the uh, slave cylinder was the worst. Um, but we have a new master cylinder, so we may as well fit it. Now, you'll have seen in the little bit of uh, playing with the camera, but this one comes with an extra part sticking out, which I've just pulled out of the little rubber boot here. All this is is like a, an actuation pin. <clears throat> now, when we took the slave cylinder out of the car, it did leave the equivalent part in the car, which looks like that. Um, so I'm probably just going to reuse this. It's already been set up and tightened up. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's got the little bush and everything in it, uh, rather than trying to disassemble it and reassemble it onto here and guesstimate where to set it. And um, we know it's going to be at least nearly right for all the clutch settings. So we shall park that, refit that into there, and then it's time to go and get this into the car. Uh, which probably requires some time under the dashboard. It's probably a good job I didn't film the bit under the dashboard getting this out because the language was very blue. Uh, much like doing the Volvo a while ago, getting underneath the dashboard in the 944 is a whole new world of difficult uh, and a whole new world of pain. So I'm really looking forward to putting that bit back in. Like, really looking forward to it. Ugh. Seriously, why does the wind always pick up just as you hit record? Right, anyway, enough of that. <clears throat> so, the master cylinder will slide into the bulkhead. You can only just about see this on the camera. So I'm going to locate it on its studs that come off the bulkhead, but I'm not going to attach it yet because I need a little bit of free space on the inside to get it onto the clutch pedal. Uh, and then I can start bolting it all back together. <laughs> Well, we've got the master cylinder in. That was a proverbial pain in the arse, um, but it's there, it's in, it's all tightened up, it's all plumbed back into the reservoir. So the next job is to bleed the system. Now, on your own, that's really difficult because you need to pump the pedal while opening and closing the bleed valve on the slave cylinder. So I have a fancy piece of kit. I have a pressure bleeder. So whoop, here you will see the tyre valve. Uh, and this little thing that goes on the tyre valve as if you were inflating it, but actually it uses the pressure from the tyre to then pressurise this little tub here, uh, which has a pipe that goes down into the reservoir of brake fluid in here. So it's dot four we're using for this clutch system. 
uh, and that then pushes fluid all the way up through here, fills the reservoir, pressurizes the system. So the first thing I did was to put the kit on, pressurize the system, look for any leaks, which there weren't any, which is always a good place to start. Uh, and then it was simply a case of crawl underneath the car and open up the bleed nipple and let all of the air out or as it was, let a toroid of air and liquid out, which blew the drain tube off the bleed nipple and made a hell of a mess. So my next job is actually to go and clear that up because I'm about finished bleeding now. Um, but the first job to do is to check that I actually have some pedal feel in. So here goes. So we are in the footwell, which with the light on the camera, it looks really rather disgusting. I think we need to give this car a clean, but let's see if the pedal goes to the bulkhead. No, it doesn't, it comes back, amazing. And I assume if I push hard enough, yeah, that feels like it's operating the clutch. So, I think we're on a winner. The only problem is I've got to put the starter motor back on to test whether that actually is working properly. But um, uh, yeah, all looks good so far. If not, it's gonna be a right pain in the backside. So let's go put the rest of the car back together clean up the brake fluid that shot out of the bleed nipple and made a mess all under the car on my crawl board and I will hopefully take it out for a test drive. Mm -hmm. 